Hello and welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. I am your host Rebecca Felgate and today I'm talking about the top 10 scary Bermuda Triangle stories part 2. You guys love part 1, I actually made it a while ago now so I decided you know what we'll get back on it we'll do part 2. Question for you guys though, shall we storm the Bermuda Triangle? I feel like it's a fair question given the current storming climate. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Personally I say storm it, I don't think they have guns down there but maybe I'm wrong, this is America. If you like our videos do make sure you leave a thumbs up, share them with a friend and stick around to the end because I'm going to be reading replies to comments. If you want to read more about the topics we're talking about we have source links in the description box and also links to all of the people that went into making this video and our most amazing instagrams. Alright, Bermuda, what we got? Coming into number 10 we have air bombs. In 2016 a new theory surrounding the mystery of the Bermuda Triangle came to light. Hexagonal cloud formations were spotted over the Bermuda Triangle area, similarly to some noted over the North Sea in the UK, only much much bigger. Super hexagons. Those studied off the coast of Britain had the ability to generate waves of over 45 feet and winds of 170 miles per hour. Dubbed air bombs, these in theory could be powerful enough to sink massive vessels, although whether or not they would be big enough to take down a plane is somewhat questionable. Meteorologist Dr Randy Cavani called the hexagonal cloud formations bizarre. Others have put two and two together and got 763 and concluded that the hexagonal clouds are alien made. Alien air bombs. Sure, sure, sure. Coming into number 9 we have the Asian Bermuda Triangle. Just when you thought the rest of the world was safe, it turns out there is a similar spot to the Bermuda Triangle in the Taiwan Strait. In June 2019 a fisherman was lost for 11 days adrift at sea as a fog descended upon his vessel. He ran out of phone battery and his fuel tank burned out leaving him utterly stranded in a stretch of water that was the site of 85 disappearances in 2016. Luckily 52 year old Nian Shanghua survived by drinking his own urine and eating fish until he was finally able to flag down a passing cargo ship two weeks after he first got lost. Lost. Not only was the area making headlines in 2016, it had also been hailed a scary mystery in 2008 when multiple planes crashed nearby. Is the area a new Bermuda Triangle? Questions. Coming into number 8 we have the electromagnetic comet. Famously Christopher Columbus claimed that his compass went crazy in the waters of the Bermuda Triangle between Florida and Puerto Rico. The 15th century explorer isn't the only person to complain or note weird seeming magnetic issues in the area. An electromagnetic fog has been the topic of much debate after pilot Bruce Gernon claimed that there were problems with his plane equipment when he flew over the area. So what's the explanation? It seems that some people think that the strong magnetic energy in the area comes from a comet that crashed to earth from out of space thousands of years ago. People believe that the alien rock contains a magnetic influence that even from the ocean bed has the ability to mess with boats and even aircraft. Of course nobody has ever found any evidence of the comet or even an impact impact crater under the water in the area so really this is just a story. Others claim the magnetic anomalies come from the triangle being in the meeting place of the magnetic north and the magnetic south. It's pole flips and stuff. I think I just like doing this sometimes in videos too, I need to do more of this. Scripted hands. Although these are unscripted. Ah put them away, ok. Coming into number 7 we have the disappearance of Jennifer Bloomin. On May the 15th 2017 a private plane carrying CEO of the Skylight Group, 40 year old Jennifer Blumen and her two young sons Venus and Theodore disappeared along with her boyfriend pilot Nathan Ulrich. Air traffic control lost contact with the Mitsubishi Mu-2B aircraft while it was heading from Florida from Puerto Rico. Sounds familiar? That's the area of the Bermuda Triangle. The plane was flying at 24,000 feet when it disappeared over the Bermuda Triangle for reasons unknown. Classic. The aircraft vanished from radio and radar control and never made a distress signal, we just don't know what happened. The bodies of the passengers have never been found but debris believed to be part of the plane was located by the US Coast Guard 15 miles east of Eutheria in the Bahamas. Another victim of the curse of the triangle? I think so. Hauntingly Jennifer's last tweet was bye bye. Coming into number 6 we have the pyramids. The story goes that an oceanographer by the name of Dr Mayer Verlag found underwater pyramids beneath the Bermuda Triangle. The alleged researcher said that the pyramid is made of a smooth crystal like substance three times the size of the pyramids of Cheops. 
The website Before Its News claimed to break the story, saying that Dr. Mayer Verlag had hosted a press conference in the Bahamas, presenting a report that claimed to note the exact coordinates of the pyramid, and also noted that the tech used is unknown to modern science. So, just curious, has anyone spotted an issue here, other than Crystal Pyramid in the Sea? Anyone? What was that website again? Before it was news? Ah, fake news, you win again. There is no Dr. Verlag. Nonetheless, the pyramid story remains an enduring myth, with some claiming to have even seen the structures underwater for themselves. Coming into number 5, we have The Lost Souls. Author Dr. Kenneth McAul claimed to have heard a haunting sound while sailing the Bermuda waters. He detailed it in his book Healing the Haunted and suggested that the strange occurrences in the area could be caused by the lost souls of dead African slaves thrown overboard and killed on their journey to the New World. The Bermuda Triangle was used as part of the slave route from Africa, and many Africans did die on the journey. Does this mean that the waters are now cursed? Does this also explain the wailing heard by Dr. McCall? Are they the cries of lost souls? Coming into number four, we have the pirates. Arr. One explanation for the mysterious disappearances surrounding the Bermuda Triangle is pirates, and I guess it makes sense. If it's good enough for the Pirates of the Caribbean, then it's good enough for me, although I will say the same sentiment does not apply when it comes to Johnny Depp. So, could the mysterious disappearances have had something to do with pirates? Like, honestly, maybe it would make a lot of sense, right? More so than a magnetic comet from out of space. A 400 year old pirate ship was found in Bermuda, and historical documentation places pirates in the waters in the mid 1700s, too. Could pirates be capturing people on ships, robbing them, and leaving the vessels ransacked? Or just stealing people away? In late July 2015, so very recently, two 14 year old boys, Austin Stephanophanus and Perry Cohen went on a fishing trip on their 19 foot boat. It took the US Coast Guard a year and 15,000 miles of searching to find the boys' abandoned boat off the coast of Bermuda, but the two boys were never seen again. A lot of people think it has something to do with pirates. From pirates to monsters, coming into number three, we have the Bermuda Beast. It wouldn't be an area of mystery if there wasn't a few monster stories attached to it, right? A number of people believe that the whole Bermuda Triangle issue could be the fault of a giant and hungry sea monster, rather like the Kraken. YouTube channel Unexplained Mysteries delved deeper into the alleged sea monster, the Bermuda Beast, that is said to be able to gobble up ships and planes. I'm kind of imagining it goes something like this. Right, see? I mean, I knew it was the Megalodon all along. I don't know, man, though. To be fair, we're joking and everything, but at the same time, the sea is a deep and curious place, so who knows what's going on? I don't know about monsters or big fish taking down planes, but perhaps boats were gobbled up by something lurking under the waters. It's fun to say things like that, doesn't it? But of course, I don't necessarily believe that there's a big kraken or beast under the water there. I don't know, though. Maybe there is. Coming in at number two, we have the Sargasso Sea. Weed. In the heart of the Bermuda Triangle is the mysterious Sargasso Sea. The sea has no shores and is bordered by other oceans. Now, the sea is very strange for a number of reasons. It's oddly warm and it's covered in a very dense seaweed. Oddly, the sea has been the location where a large number of boats have disappeared and re emerged crewless some days later. This is what happened to the vessel Rosalie in 1840, as reported in the Times newspaper. The ship sailed through the sea and was lost in August. Now, by November, November, she'd been found adrift with all of her cargo aboard and no visible signs of damage. The only thing was, though, she was covered in seaweed and the entirety of her crew had disappeared, never to be seen again. Finally, coming into number one, we have Is the Bermuda Triangle a Glitch in the Matrix? Maybe. At the beginning of 2019, Redditor Paul5424 wrote in Reddit Shower Thoughts If we all live in a simulation, the Bermuda Triangle is probably some kind of glitch spot. Now, this comment received over 4,000 upvotes, and it's funny, sure, but like, actually, maybe accurate. Elon Musk thinks that we're living in a computer simulation. In fact, I do believe that he said there is only a one in billions chance that we're not living in a simulation, so I think he's pretty convinced. If we are living in a simulation like the Matrix, then surely there'd be glitches for sure. Maybe the reason we can't explain the Bermuda Triangle is because there is no explanation that makes sense to us. Planes and boats have simply been deleted. Okay, so that was the top 10 scary Bermuda Triangle stories part two. Would you like stories for other mystical places? Do you believe any of these stories have any real grounding in truth? Also, once again, shall we storm the Bermuda Triangle? I'm going with yeah. 
what will Elon Musk provide for this one? I'm excited. Before I go, I'm gonna read some comments from the Top 10 Scary Bermuda Triangle Stories Part 1. Now, it was five months ago, so this is a delayed reading. Gazumba said, Wait, what if Cthulhu lives in the Bermuda Triangle? Right? That's what I'm saying. That's the, Maybe that's the Bermuda Beast. After all, it's Cthulhu. Sweaty Fletchy said, The Kraken keeps wrecking people's ships and bringing it down to the depths. See, another monster theory. Ro Shrift 1974 actually gave me the boost I needed today, so thank you. They wrote, Oh my god, Rebecca, you are too cute. It doesn't matter what kind of mood I'm in or how crappy my day is going. Your smile and your charm always brighten my day. You could be discussing the most dreaded topics, and yet your youthful enthusiasm grabs my attention for the next 12 minutes or so. Keep up the good work and great videos. Keep watching. I really like that you said youthful enthusiasm. That makes me feel a lot better about myself, and I am glad to have brightened your day. I hope I've brightened all of your days. That is kind of my job, and also to tell you creepy stories, but like, I think actually secretly to brighten your day. Good, thank you. If I have brightened your day today, then please do leave a thumbs up on this video and share it with a friend. Stick around, we've got a whole playlist of videos and I hope you enjoy them. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't yet. Check out the links in our description box. I'm your host Rebecca Fergay and I'll see you at the Bermuda Triangle Storming Party. Bye!